Okay. Do painting. Uh, on a couple minutes later, I apologize. I'm back here. Let's see. Get this camera to focus. Whoa! Focus. Back just a tad. Running just a little late. Sorry about that. I'm having a hard time making up my mind what I wanted to do. We'll go with this one. Set green on here, some yellow. Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown, Van Dyke Brown. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? Oh, I need to order some more Mars Black. So look at dope. So let's just sketch this one out here. So kind of just a beautiful countryside. Oh, that's a day. Come on. My camera's not focusing here. Come on. Whoa. Focus on the face. Hey, there we go. The face scares it, you know. Okay, so we're going to sketch this thing out. This is a, uh, well, actually, I'm going to get a little more Prussian blue. As you can tell, I'm a little bit discombobulated. Uh, trying to make up my mind what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to try to get away from uh, this one. I was debating on <laughs> what I was going to do, but I think we're just going to, it's a nice country scene out here in Oregon. Near Mount Hood, Independence, uh, uh, Oregon. It's where it's near. And this is a photograph done by John Craft. They're out for a bicycle ride. I thought that was kind of cool. So, like I said, we'll get going here. Do my basic thing, but the, it's not going to be all blue tone. Kind of got overkill on blue tone lately. So, Stupefied. You would think one of these days I'm going to fix it. Do you think I do that? No. Oh, because there's only so much time in the day. Okay, here we go. We're just getting that basic coat on here. Get my exercise in here. Get a good workout. But this is not going to be totally blue tones. It's the base, the base coat. As you know, I always, at least want to get that darn red or white all out of there. There we go. Boom. Now we can just start in. Okay. Blow my nose on you. Uh, I really had a nice day today, and after I was done with work, I was able to get out there and do a little bit of work on the yard. It made me feel better about myself. So we've got this. Let me bring up his, his photograph here. Oh, dear, what's this? Go away. Just, excuse me, good grief. Probably got a little dust up my nose from the work. There we go. It's a very simplistic painting, but it's a kind of a really beautiful painting. Or a beautiful photograph. Ugh. And I'm going to sneeze again.
Oh, my goodness. No, it's not a cold. Good grief. Yeah, grief. Mm. No, no. Probably just working in the garden. I don't really have allergies. <laughs> well, here we were in the 50s today, so it was really nice. Oh, good grief. Um, guys, I'm gonna pictures out of these. But God, Ugh. I don't know about you, but it's around this time of year that I am ready for good weather. Oh man! Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start right in. These are the Cascade Mountains here. It was Mount Hood. So we're just gonna. The Mount Hood in this photograph starts right about here. Mount Hood uh, rises up over 11,000 feet out of Portland. So it's a big mountain. Actually, that's, that's too low. We're going to go up here. We got Mount Hood going up like so. Comes out. What thing is? Then you got mountains that come up here. Okay. Well, then here are perspectives. My blue paint out here. And I like this one because I like how the highway moves away from you. It gives you that concept of distance. It's really cool. Oh, man. Something got up in my nose. Ah, it's now finally behaving itself now. Okay. It goes up and over a, a low rolling hill here. Just one more like that. Yeah, so. That goes like so, and then highway continues on here, and actually it's his wife that's on a bicycle down there. And these all farm fields, so we're going to get that all in there. Now it's going to be the, the way the light hits and everything else. And you got all these trees here. And you got these trees here. I'll get out of your way. Oh, I just needed a break last night. Oh, I was just kind of burned out. <laughs> kind of needed that. You know, we're supposed to actually have some nice weather. I, you know, my birthday's coming up on uh, Thursday, and it's supposed to be 60 degrees and sunny. I mean, all right, you know, that'll be fun. Got the band all set up, everything's in place so i don't know i kind of some people don't like to do anything for their birthday and that's her prerogative but when it's like my uh especially a decade change like i'm going through uh i definitely definitely so i will not be on thursday for sure it's possible i won't be on tomorrow because i have the next day off but we'll see i I'll probably will be but uh that's a group of trees there That you can just barely see, and that's about that's a little further up. So, and then another goes on further. Okay. Yeah, I I, I have learned. If I'm not in the mood to paint, just don't do it, you know? And uh, if that's when I come up with something, I'm like, well, yeah, I wasn't really in the mood for that. And you just, it's just a good to do that. You got to do that. Okay, we're coming back in with the spoons again. And hit the old green here. Put the green. Oh, that's the brown. That's the brown. Where's the green? No, oh, where's the green? 
I think I did that. Yep, I did. Two blobs of Van Dyke Brown instead of one sap green and one not. So I'll put the sap green over here. There we go. Sap green. Sap green. Okay. Whew. Okay. Funny that I'm from. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> The low road will be hills here. Green over here, too. Yeah. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I do not have a cold. That's not it. Just. Hi, how are you doing? Greetings. I'm sure. So let me look and see what it looks like. The sunlight is actually kind of coming. Yeah, it is. The sunlight's coming in this direction. So we'll we'll get that right on the hood here. My hood. active volcano still steams and there's hot springs all around it and have a ski resort on it It's going to work. Hazy blue sky.
the Avian Unpronounceable Blue with Titanium White. And it comes down to about here. That highway needs to. Well, that's about right with the highway. I just need to get to hood. Doesn't have to be exactly right. I always have to tell myself that. There's the hood. Like that. Look at that concept of distance. It's hazier and hazier as you get off into the mountains there. Should have been right smack in your way. I need to get a monitor right there so I can see how bad I'm blocking you. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Keep saying that, and do you think I'd do it? Yeah. Right. I need to get some more of that. the paintbrush into the hole to unplug it. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. Milton scene, countryside scene. Bunch of trees here. All the way across. And just a bit of green to that. We do a switch out at uh, the other bar. Let's see. Be doing that late April, and we'll have a band also for that. I think bands are starting to cost me, but hey, if I sell, it pays for it. <laughs> I always say art's a thing to celebrate, you know? It really is. We have enough negativeness in this world, and uh, I don't know. Use the trees. We'll, we'll work those all out. We'll, you'll see that they're trees. Like a whole row of uh, evergreens. Well, that's one thing I don't think uh, Portland's going to have to worry about this year is enough water. Good grief, we've had it. In fact, our problem is it's probably too much water. Well, look at California. Holy crap, Olas. Well, hopefully that fills our reservoirs. See, this is why I wish we had a, even a better system to collect all that water. Those times when it's really dry, we had like these vast underground uh, reservoirs or something like that. That'd be awesome. Ditches that go along the highway there. Is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
of the row of telephone poles and looking down in the valley here, farm fields all through here, trees here. Looks like we got our telephone poles. Might green it up a little bit from what the uh, actual photograph is. Trying to shake my stuff up a little bit. It seems like I've been having too many uh, blue tone stuff. I need to, it's good to vary your colors, I think. I actually watched uh, Waterloo last night, the 1970 movie with Rod Steiger. Um, oh, he played Napoleon. Uh, oh, who was the Duke of Wellington? He was in uh, Christopher Plummer. And then uh, uh, until uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was the first movie that finally eclipsed it for this biggest charge scene in history, in the movie history. You've been to the battlefield of Waterloo. Pretty interesting. And a friend who was a Napoleon fanatic, and he, I read like five books on the battle before I went to that thing because I knew he would know everything. <laughs> so it was it was fascinating, but you could sure in the heck see why Napoleon lost it. It's really interesting. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. I'm going to get a sponge out for that. And then pull it in. These are buddy. Now, old Napoleon hadn't uh, bit off more than he could chew with the Russia. Uh, could have, uh, I would have won. Up over that rip here. It's a large area. They actually have fairly simplistic photograph, but it's beautiful. But sometimes it's those real simplistic ones that are really cool. Yeah, you know, I know like some of my science fictions get ridiculous in detail, but sometimes it's nice to do one that's just kind of a simplistic one here. So this probably won't take us terribly long to do. Yeah, a little white. No. Honey, 
of Farm Hills here. Brighten up the Farm Hills just a little bit. Take a little bit of artistic licensing on that. Add some brightness to the old Mount Hood here. Okay. All right. Got paint all over my hand. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Add a little bit of uh, magenta here, just a tad, purple it up just a little bit in the background there. <laughs> Don't need much, that's a very strong color. A little more blue than that. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, I just had more blue. It's just a tear. Varying the colors. I'm going to come around over here. There's a barn in here, too. Let's we'll get that in there. Is there? Good. Hey. <laughs> That's a brush I need. Mount Hood. Let me bring that up just a tad. Uh oh, one there. We go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
section. Just hold on, guys, and sit up. Yeah, a little more blue. Yeah. Oh, big mighty mountain here. Rising over eleven thousand feet in the mountain. Mm -hmm. The barn in here is towards here. Big long, big long barn. Not in there, just tiny, off in the distance. Just getting the shapes in and everything. Whoa! -ho! Get some of the yellow poker out here. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Good bean. Boom, boom, boom. No. <laughs> I think it's a song from that darn uh, movie Waterloo. <laughs> 1970, jeez. Didn't realize it was produced by Dino De Laurentiis. <laughs> I think his daughter, is it daughter or granddaughter? I think granddaughter that is a chef on the food in the food channel. An interesting. So she had a few strings to pull. That's kind of making him say that. That's true. <laughs> the yellow line there. Don't pass on your uh, double yellow. Um, what I do? All rush. And our okay, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Sony Hanna Barbarian. So we're going to now work on those farm fields. Okay, let's do this. Right in here is a pretty bright green area. So we're going to hit that. And the variations of green. This won't be a perma wet. <laughs> we must have had a dry, beautiful day. Can I get some to this? Maybe I should try to use a different brush. That's not not quite kicking it there. I need easy. No, that's too. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things will make you go, mm -hmm. well, that might work. It probably should work. Talking to myself, full conversation. Crease <laughs> here. I think I like that those real close here. So the countryside out here in uh outside of Portland uh and Oregon here and that's uh Independence Oregon uh what you're looking at is uh Mount Hood in the distance there rises eleven thousand some feet off out of uh here big mountain oh, big mountain big ski resort on it too do -do -ba -do -do. We draw all's well with you. I'm sorry about your dog. Yeah, it's always tough. Freeze all along here. Mm 
Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a lot of pretty countryside here. That's for sure. And I love our um, uh, vineyard areas. The wine country, too, is just gorgeous. That is one thing this summer I'm getting down there. I, I have not been down there in a while. And I, those are the things I need to, okay, Mike, get off your rear end and get going. I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Get out and take a look at things. It's rolling hills here. Try to get that captured. Say tomorrow's my day. I have to get up ridiculously early, wake up the birds. It was they get uh, light, and then they they did the daylight saving times on us again. And so as soon as they do that, it's back to being pitch black in the morning for a little while. I don't know. We're going to put that barn here. We got a barn there off in the distance. That's a bot here. So we're going to come in here with Vanguard Brown. Vanguard Brown. It's a long barn. Just a tad bit of red here. It has a rusty tin roof on it. Keep going. I think we might be able to just get done with this one tomorrow. I do think so. Is that the key for me is to keep it simple. Like keep it simple, stupid kiss. Remember kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> White. Got a barn in here. A long barn. We'll notice a uh, horse stables or dairy farm. Not sure.
Mm -hmm. And this must be the kind of like the town going up here because I've seen a bunch of trees. We'll, we'll get that all in there. Yes, sir, Bob. It. Fireplace smack right in your way again. <laughs> well, like a painting like this, like this scene is that definitely, I think, a real trick to this like honestly that highly occurs. Our yellow lines here. Don't cross the yellow line. Get a ticket. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's so funny on uh, Tuesday nights, I just about always have trouble sleeping. It's like the body knows it has to get up ridiculously early. <laughs> it's like, oh. It goes into panic. <laughs> so, oh, that's all right. Could be worse. And the grassy here, those grasses in there. Using our handy dandy fan brush here. Oh, yeah. Oh, got, got excited there for a second. Okay, don't. I just find it's easier to steal from a bank. Just go in there blazing away. Trees going all down here, and then we're gonna come in with the telephone poles too that go all the way down side here. And the great thing about the telephone poles, they will help break that that concept of distance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I sleep pretty good, but always Tuesday nights is kind of like my challenging night. Just about always. Every once in a while I get lucky. And uh, see, that's why I find I'll post these uh, updates when it's on a Tuesday the next day. <laughs> because the less I'm running around doing things before I go to bed, the better. I have found that out and then just kind of get into a relaxed mode, maybe watch a some show, some mundane show, no, nothing stressful. Don't watch the news. You know? 
I always agree with what uh, Bob Ross says. If you want to feel bad, watch the news. Yeah, I think it's gonna have a good, good, just fun feel to it, you know. Yeah, we'll we'll be done with this one. Uh, pretty positive tomorrow, unless I go out and party off, because that's my last day of being fifty nine. <laughs> Who knows? So I know some people that didn't make it to my age, so I've had some friends didn't make it. And so that's what I always say to myself, you know. You're very happy what you got. Well, heck, all these are dried up on me, so I'm gonna go back to this one. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, be happy that you're, you know. Doing all right. That's what I say. Have a nice little party at uh, Scandals. We're going to have live band and everything. So it's going to be kind of fun. I'm kind of a person that, uh, I mean, if it's just a regular birthday with not a decade change, uh, I like, uh, uh, I like um, doing. Uh, like a nice dinner or something, but if a decade change, gotta do something, gotta do something big. Yeah. 60, 60 years that this liver has survived an orbit around the sun. <laughs> Come on, Susan. Well, Susan, we could go into hours of conversation about how loony you are, but. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get this done. No question uh tomorrow. As the time ticks away here and I'll post when I get home, I will get home at around 4 30 tomorrow. So I will post an update of this, and then yeah, I'll see what's going on tomorrow. That's right, absolutely. And like I said, I've had too many people I've known that passed away early, you know, and or or worse, you know, and so I say, yeah, you're absolutely right, Mavis. Absolutely. I always tell children, aim your goals really low. That way you're never disappointed. <laughs> Just kidding, too. This is why parents don't like me around their kids. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I'm going to wrap this up tonight. You all take care. Shadows, sun's coming this direction, so get those shadows in where those trees are. And we're gonna work on that highway a little bit here. I probably have to see what highway that is. We'll look it up on the map. But this is based on some work by John Kraft. He's a wonderful photographer here in the Portland area. I think he lives in Vancouver, right across the river from us. Well, oh, Mount Hood. Yes, that's Mount Hood. Mount Hood, our biggest mountain in Oregon. Right here is the biggest there in Washington. So, all right, people, thank you so much for joining me. 
I will hopefully see you tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, if, if not, I'll put out a thing that I'm not going to be on, but I, I, I'm probably going to be on. I don't really have any plans for tomorrow night. And so you take care, seriously. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, morning, or wherever part of the big ball you're on here. So stay, stay healthy, stay safe. We got Independence, Oregon here is Mark Hood. And it's a wonder, based on a wonderful photograph by John Kraft. All right. Whoa, I think we'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to go naked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye.